perhaps a somewhat more charitable view of that failure than many people do. So let's take climate change, it's obviously the obvious example. We're not very good at getting our act together to do something about climate change. Why not? Well, a couple of reasons. I think one reason is we trust technology to save us at the last moment. And, you know, that's a dangerous trust, but it's not surprising because technology quite often does actually provide solutions to problems. So, um, you know, I wish we didn't rely on technology, but it's understandable. The second one, perhaps somewhat more profound, is fatalism. I think that a large part of why people are not going about trying to do something about climate change is because they don't think they can. And I don't just mean individuals here, I mean whole societies. Why don't they think they can? Well, actually, I have a feeling that ageing is part of that problem. It may be the engine room of that problem. Ageing, after all, is a constant daily reminder of our inability to manipulate our world as we might like. There are so many things that we can do with our world, but ultimately when it comes to the really critical things, saving our own lives, we can't do it. We're helpless. And this grinds us down. Mm -hmm.